In today's video, I'm going to show you the best way to manage your tasks and to-do list. So this template is inspired by the Getting Things Done framework by David Allen, and I created it in a program called Notion. While I made it about a year ago now, you know, inspired by Karma Medic and Kay He and other productivity experts, it's overgone a couple of changes since the last video I made about it. Regardless, I've kept this template pretty simple, so regardless of whether you're familiar with the Getting Things Done framework or even Notion as a program, this template will work for you. So let's take a look. So the first thing you want to do is click on that link in the description. And once you do that, you're going to see this screen. Now, if you're familiar with Notion, you know exactly what to do from here. But if not, all you need to do is go to this upper right corner and hit duplicate. And it's going to ask you to log in. And if you haven't, you know, had an account, you can register here and it's completely free. And what that's going to do is add this page to your Notion so you can edit it. All right. So once you've added this page to your Notion, this is what you're going to see. So there are multiple different sections within this template. And so we'll go over it as kind of a broad overview and then we'll jump into how exactly to use it. So quick capture is where you're gonna enter in all your tasks and then clarify and organize them. And then based on the deadline, it'll then organize itself into either going into this on my plate section, which is all the tasks that are due today. And you can also manually add tasks to this section. It could go into the section called this week. So if there's anything due between today and a week from today, then it'll go into this section. And then the later section, is any tasks that are due after a week from today. This next section is the fell through the cracks. So if there are any tasks that you say you had due yesterday and you didn't get it done, it'll populate into here just to make sure that you never lose your tasks. And the completed section is where you're gonna see all your completed tasks. So let's start with the first section, quick capture. So this is the most important section and it's basically the place that you just wanna spend time every day to think about all the tasks that you have to do. So. There's this list here called the sweep trigger list that have different bullet points of things that you should think about when you make this list. So if you're following around, take a minute to list some tasks here. I'm gonna do the same. And then we're gonna use those tasks as an example on how the template exactly works. All right, so now that you've listed some tasks down on your quick capture, I also wanna show you that you can do it on mobile. So say you're on the go and you wanna add some tasks to your list. So you can basically make a widget for the Notion app that takes you directly to that page. And all you have to do is click on it and then you can easily just add tasks by hitting new. So if I just put task one, easily swipe back, hit new again, task two. And like that, I can easily note down tasks that I need to do. And then I can basically put more information in now or I can put it more when I'm in front of a computer. All right, so the next step is to clarify and organize your tasks. So first thing we're gonna do is clarify what project each task is a part of. So what you can do is, you know, you can either click and then select whatever it's related to. So here getting groceries would be extra. Um, or you can use arrow keys and then press enter to select and then you can select whatever it is. You can also copy tags so I can control C and then anything else that's related to school, I can paste like that. So those are the tags that I have here. You're free to organize these how it works for you. So all you have to do is hit these three dots and then rename them easily here. Um, and you can also add more if you'd like. Now deadline. So like I showed you earlier, depending on the deadline you set for it, it'll populate into a different section on the task manager. So this section is really important. So to set the date, all you have to do is click here and a little calendar pops up and say, I want to get groceries on the 30th. Um, or by the 30th, then I can do that. And then I'm gonna add dates for the rest of the tasks. All right, so now that we have the dates, you can also put down notes if there's any additional things that you want to clarify for any particular task, or if you need to add a link or anything like that. I don't necessarily need to do that right now, so I'm just gonna leave that blank. If you need to add even more information, you can open any of these tasks and then enter in like a full blurb of information here, um, depending on your needs. So now that that's done, what we can do is hit captured for all the tasks, right? So all you have to do is check all these boxes and as you hit captured, they'll all disappear from this first section. All right, so now that we see all the tasks that are due today will show up here. All the tasks due this week, including the ones due today, will show up on this week. And then tasks due later will be show up here. And then I also put a task here that was due previously, and that will go in this fill through the cracks section. So all the tasks that we had here, regardless of the date we put in, organize itself into whatever section that it belongs in. Another thing that I wanna show is that there is a section called on plate. So say there's a task that's due like in two weeks that you wanna to do today, and you wanna show that on your Notion. Well, to do that's really easy. So say there's a task, you know, this finding guests for podcasts that's due on 12.02. Well, I wanna do that today. All I have to do is hit on plate in this section, and then it'll add to this today. So now I have this on my today's task list. 
And similarly, if I want to go even further, I can hit, you know, do a schedule HVAC service, hit on plate, and then it's going to populate here. So once we've put down the tasks, clarified them and organized them, now all that's left is to do the tasks. And so once you complete a task, all you have to do is hit this done checkbox and it'll disappear from this section and it also will not show up on either this week or later. Where it will show up is this completed task section um, and you'll see exactly when you created it and that'll show you exactly how long it took you to complete the task. So we can test this, right? So if you hit done here, same thing's gonna happen. If you end up doing a task later, hit done there, it'll disappear from here and it'll go down here. And so you get that kind of satisfaction of checking things off and things disappearing and going into this other section all automatically, which I find really helpful. And as someone that never uses agendas, I found that this is the best way for me to stay organized with all my tasks. One thing I do wanna say is if you like dark mode, all you have to do is hit Command Shift L and that'll change it from light to dark and then you can do it again to shift it back to light. But yeah, so that is the Notion task manager, to-do list, whatever you wanna call it. And I find it super helpful for managing tasks and I hope that it helps you too. Now I know the template might be a little bit confusing. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments. And if this video helped, please subscribe, like the video for more Notion content in the future, as well as pre-med and medical school content and things like that. But thanks for watching.